So, this thing has been sitting extremely dirty and we're going to test tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. It needs some love. It needs to be washed. I was gonna wash it at home, but this place has distilled water, which is spotless rinse. And this thing really doesn't need to really be scrubbed. It more just needs to be sprayed off. But to dry the inside of the, cause I spray the inside of the car. Let me just kind of, I spray the inside of the car down. I don't know what you guys do. I clean the inside of my car with the pressure washer. When I spray down the inside of the car to dry it with the pressure washer at the house is gonna be insane. Too much work because if you don't dry it, it spots. So if you come here and you use the distilled, you don't have to worry about all that because it'll spotless, spotless dry. Yeah, the last time I brought it here, it didn't have any engine or any interior or anything in it at all. And it was just the shell we picked it up from Joe. So this is kind of cool to have it here now, running and driving. So I'm taking it like this to the track. No doors, no passenger seat, no fenders, nothing on it. Because one, I don't want to mess them up, which I've already broken almost every single one, just pulling it in and out of the trailer in the garage. Two, I want to make sure everything functions good. And if I have to work on something, it's going to be really easy to access. Three, number three, Ken Block test all of his cars like this. And I love Ken Block, even though I still haven't met him, believe it or not. Ken Block tests all of his cars like this, and it comes out with some sick content at the end of the day. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, hold fast steering wheel, let's go get you some. Are you listening? Damn. All right, so that's the trick. Take the car, spray it down, spotless rinse. I really don't need to brush it because it's just been like dust. I'll have to do it again as soon as we're done with the track day. At least when we start, we'll start fresh and clean. But yeah, you spray it down spotless and then when this actually dries off, there's not gonna be any spots on the paint or anything and any other plexiglass is really difficult to wipe down without scratching. So when you set it up like that, I don't have to worry about it drying but it'll dry like tomorrow. By the time we get out there and pull the car out and it sits in the sun for a bit, whatever moisture is left, it'll all be gone. So not too worried about it. You definitely don't want to like do this and then store your car in the trailer like this and not take it out like the next day or soon because the moisture can get into the wood in the trailer like my door. I just had the trailer door redone because the wood got moisture in it and it got really bad. So I had to get the whole door redone. So tomorrow, essentially when we go out, what we're doing is, this is just a minor shakedown before the major shakedown, which means like Grange is really low speed. So if something goes wrong, the amount of like destruction, the risk versus reward at Grange is a lot less on the risk side and more reward side. So we're not going very fast. We're not doing anything too crazy. I'll probably throw a backy with no doors because I've always wanted to do that. I'll probably do some tandems with no doors because I've always wanted to do that. We're going to be looking for leaks. We're going to be looking for things that are breaking. If anything is going to break, we want it to break tomorrow or we want it to break at the next major test day. Minor test day is what this is. Again, low speeds, just monitoring everything. Josh will be there. So he'll be there to kind of adjust some stuff if we feel anything needs to change. The super dope explosion fire thing, the cutoff at the top of the RPM is insane super dope but it kind of dogs the motor back real hard for quite a bit of time so we're going to try to figure out if that's going to stay like that or if we're going to change the explosion to make it more of like an ak-47 style so instead of like a big boom it'll be more of like a bunch of cracks so we'll see exactly what happens but that's what we want to test so now we're going to go home throw a couple last things in here which we're not going to show you guys because it doesn't you'll be bored we're gonna throw a couple last things in here, Jack. A couple of the two doors, just in case the track officials try to give us crap about not having doors. I'll have them there so we can throw them on. Throw those in here, throw the Jack in here, fuel tank, and get some sleep and get out there in the morning as Hannah yawns behind the camera right now. <laughs> so, end of the day. 
but we're gonna start a whole new one tomorrow. A better one, a sicker one. It's gonna be dope, I'm excited to drive this car. See you guys around.